Hi everyone, assigning your extra seats so that your salespeople can sign in with their own email addresses and passwords is a simple process. Here's how you do it. First, sign into the map with a browser version and click My Account on the upper right of the map. Then click Account Settings. After you get to your account settings, click on the Team tab. This is where you'll manage your user seats and team members. You'll notice that I have five user seats and all five are assigned out to the same email address. As it stands now, I can have five people logged into my account with my email address simultaneously. A better way to set it up is to have your extra seats assigned out to different email addresses so that you can keep track of your salespeople individually. You can also put certain restrictions on your individual users so that they can see only their own markers and nobody else's. And you can set it up so that your individual team members can't make important changes to your account. Also, when you assign your seats out to individual email addresses, you can quickly clear any seat so that an individual can no longer get access to the system. Okay, here's how you do it. Before you can assign a seat out to someone, they must be a team member first. So click Invite New Member. After you click the Invite New Member button, you will enter their name and email address. Also, you can check all marker access if you would like this team member to see everybody's markers. By default, this is unchecked, which means that the team member will only see his own markers. Keep in mind that as the administrator, you will see everybody's markers. And in the event that you have to reassign that seat to somebody else, those markers dropped by the previous team member will still be on the map. So as the administrator, you still have access to all the intel put on the map by any team member. So now, after you've entered their name and email address and have clicked on Invite New Member, they will immediately receive an email asking them to create a password and then to accept the invitation. The next step for you is to assign that pending team member to one of your seats. So go up to the seat number that you would like to assign, go to the far right and click the left button under Action. Here when you click the drop down next to Team Member, the email from the guy you just invited now shows up in the Team Member drop down. The next step is to choose whether you want this team member to be an admin where they can make important changes to the account or to a salesperson. Okay, click Assign Seat and then you're done. As soon as your team member creates a password and then accepts the invitation, they'll be able to sign into their account using their email address and the password they just created. So go to the Team tab under your account settings to see how many seats you currently have and then start assigning those extra seats out to your team members. Right below your user seat list, you will also see a green button where you can add more user seats. Keep in mind that when you have an account with three user seats or more, you automatically get the contact data on demand, where you can tap a residential roof to get names, cell phones, and email addresses.